This show is very much about sound and noise, music and rhythm, chaos and organised fun. My wish was for children to watch the show and be more aware of their own actions as well as the relationship with the environment and people around them. The concept is that Rattle King has to be enduring. We shouldn't have any cultural context like a creature from a fantastical world. And he has to be colourful enough and of course he has to be noisy. The music it was actually written as a story, as a journey of what Rattle King was feeling himself. We didn't intend for the Rattle King to be speaking any language that would be immediately understandable. Therefore, music became a very important aspect in the crafting of his journey, of his emotional journey, as well as his narrative journey. I think for me, uh, it's to basically not steal away from the music because the music is a big uh, part of it. Uh, of course, if there are certain storytelling elements uh, to help aid the show, like, yeah, um, like basically, I, I help in that aspect. Sound or even music or even lighting uh, or even stagecraft. I think that's the, the best form of learning about how we as creators, you know, create the craft. Yeah. So the show is a lot about colours and uh, hopefully, you know, the kids may be able to find a certain relationship between a certain emotion and a certain colour and, you know, and there's a lot of uh, tempo involved. So, you know, we want kids to be able to also visualize how the music is actually progressing. And that's one of the key things that we wanted uh, to achieve with uh, lighting this. The first time seeing it in the space, with the backdrop of the cityscape and Esplanade, it was actually very magical and mesmerizing. Seeing so many audience members coming in and loving him was very, very sufficient for me as a designer. So when the music actually followed the Rattle King, it was a very, very magical feeling for me to see it come alive. I think I'm just very happy that I can see kids, you know, responding to all the, uh, the jester's emotions as well as the Rattle King. What was very interesting is that adults will be asking their children, do you understand it? Do you know what's happening? And the children would say, yes and no, I do know. I hope that this puppet can tour the world and uh, for more people to see him and love him.